Hi guys, I'm Akita. Today we shall see another problem. Implement queue using stacks. So we have to implement a queue. We know what is queue. Queue is nothing but first in, first out. So if we have the elements ordering, let's say one comes, then two comes, three comes, four comes, the first one to move out will be one. First in, first out. Next, next three, next four. And stack will be reverse of uh, queue itself. That is nothing but if one, two, three, four. Last in, first out. The last which one entered into the stack is 4 so this will be uh, on the top but in q 1 will be on the top so basically if you represent like this 1 2 3 4 in q first in first out in stack last in first out so this will come first so we have to implement the queue using the stacks here so as you know push pop peak means nothing but uh, top is in the stack and uh, we have to check whether the queue is empty or not these are the four operations which we need to offer so how can you do? Can we do it with the using a single stack? Yes, we can do. Uh, let's see how we do. How do we do it uh, now? So we'll keep a two stacks here. Okay. Let this be stack one and stack two, and the queue which you need to implement. So we have to implement this queue using stacks. You should not use any inbuilt queue operations like peak or push, but we have to implement that using stack. So how can we do it? We'll have two stacks. And when they give an element, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? First, we need to push 1. They say, let's say they tell you to push 1. So when you need to push 1, push 1 into stack 1. Again, they tell push 2, push that into stack 1. 3, again, push that into stack 1. 4, again, push that into stack 1. But when they say q dot peak, we have to find the topmost element. What we, we should return actually? 1, right? Because first in, first out. But it's at the end of the stack. How can I do it? For that purpose, we use the second stack. So whenever they ask us to either get the peak element or remove the peak uh, topmost element, and then they'll tell you to pop this one or else they'll tell you to return this one. So if either of the operations they ask for, what we do is we check if the stack 2 is empty. If this is empty, from stack 1, push all the elements to stack 2 in the same order. So first push 4, then push 3, okay, then push 2, then push 1. So now you could see in stack 2, 1 is on the top, which we need to return or else pop, right? So you can directly do that. So until stack 2, if stack 2 is empty, just until stack 1 is empty, push all the elements from stack 1 to stack 2. Transfer it. Now, you, okay, let's say they'll return 1. Okay, if you return 1, pop 1, it will get removed. And now stack 1 is empty because all these are done. Stack 2 is containing 2, 3, 4. And now they again tell uh, uh, q.peak we have to return. What is peak here? 2, which is already present in stack 2. That's why I told in the beginning. Only if the stack 2 is empty, you transfer elements from stack 1 to stack 2. If this is not empty, if stack 2 is not empty, then directly you can do this. Let's say we, they 5, 6, insert it. So 5 you insert. You always push into stack 1 only. Now they tell to return uh, peak, peak element in the queue. What we need to do? Just return 2. You need not to transfer 6 and 5 because first in first out, right? 2 is inserted first. Stack 2 is not empty. You just return 2. If stack 2 is empty, only then transfer elements from stack 1 to stack 2. So this is the logic. We shall implement this. Fine. So we'll define the stack. Okay. Let me declare the stack as a private object. Because you can access, access it only inside the class. So stack in stack one and stack in stack. Now you need not to initialize here. In C plus plus not even Java you initialize it using because you create an instance. So for uh, pushing it to stack, just put uh, stack one dot push off. Then what about popping? So first check if stack two dot empty. If this is empty, then what we need to do until stack one dot empty. Yeah, not of here to you. Transfer elements from Okay, stack two dot push off. 
stack one dot top then pop stack one dot pop so once you push that into stack two you can pop it from the step that's also and then you have to return right so let's say we'll keep a variable run equal to stack two dot top now stack two dot pop now return the front because if you directly do the stack two dot pop uh, it will get lost you can't return that that's why i just put into some variable and return it and same thing applies for uh, peak also here you need not to pop just return the peak element so after you are done with this just return stack to dot top and empty return stack both stack should be empty stack one dot empty and stack two dot empty yes so we will run this yeah and for java same logic applies uh, you declare and initialize here push elements therefore popping you you can use transfer elements function directly or else as i did until the stack one is not empty just transfer from elements from stack one to stack two then you check uh, for elements and transfer elements just implemented with the function same thing i have just written so we'll submit this Yeah, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.